Hi everyone, it's Carol from Kringle Path Journals. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have another memory keeping with me in my junk journal altered book. And this is all memories that I've been keeping from my childhood in the 70s. And I thought today I would use two of these recipes that are in my mom's handwriting because last time I did this page with a list that my dad had written and so I thought it would be fun to include something with my mom's handwriting that was sentimental. I recently inherited all her recipes and so it's fun to find some favorites that are in her handwriting. And these were two favorites that I requested anytime there was a special occasion, like a birthday or a big family gathering. And one is beef stroganoff and one is Polynesian chicken. And I still make these recipes today, although I have, I don't know what you would call it, probably a kitchen hack. Like I've uh, gotten to where I can do them a little quicker, although the beef stroganoff is a slow cook, um, kind of simmer on the stove to get it right uh, meal. But um, we've got these down to a little more of a science, so I don't actually use her recipes. Um, just similar, the same ingredients, but um, made up a little differently for the sake of time. So, I feel very confident in storing these in my book and that I'm not going to be sad that I have to go find this to find them. <laughs> so I pulled this uh, recipe, Betty Crocker step-by-step -step recipe, because the picture reminds me exactly, let me see if we're in focus. The picture reminds me exactly of what it looks like my family history are that both my parents and my grandparents were uh, Germans from Russia and so I love that it says up here that this was a Russian recipe and I also pulled this picture it's kind of got a Polynesian feel to it and a big P on there for pineapple pumpkin pepper I got it out of this cookbook let me back my camera up so you can see this a little better. Oops, sorry. So I look for these cookbooks whenever I'm in thrift stores, estate sales. They're the Women's Woman's Day Encyclopedia of Cookery. Volume. This is volume three. And so this one has all the C recipes in it. But what I get them for are the illustrations and I like cutting out the little illustrations and using them as uh, collage fodder as little accents on journaling cards and those kinds of things so I thought I'd show you a few pages first of all these are uh, published in the mid to late 60s I love the bright bold prints that come along with it and then aren't these illustrations just so cute and there are a lot of photos in these books, but a lot of the little illustrations are so fun. And I love the borders, too. I would love to have these for borders on a page. And see, there's another little one with some cookies. And look at this one. It's fondue and cheeses and fruit. And then there are large pictures in the book as well and then each little cookbook within the cookbook has different artists who does the section of the book and so there's a lot of variety and then I love the handwritten font it's just got a lot of character and so I like finding words in there that I like to use there's the facing page again so I went ahead and cut a piece that fits my book let me fold this up. Bring you in again. So I'm just going to use this as the background, but I thought 
I need to make a pocket to put these in. And so I think I was going to use, I'll use this piece because it's big enough, I think, for them to go in and in a pocket as a pocket. And so I grabbed some other book pages just to see what color I liked. This one is a little closer. And I'm going to back this. My glue is back cooperating. Hooray! All right, we've got that trimmed up nice and even. I think I get my scraps out of the way and then let's cut a notch in that. So I'm not sure where the beef stroganoff recipe came from, but the Polynesian chicken recipe was from the 50s and it belonged to my Aunt Shirley who wasn't actually a blood aunt. My parents had close friends, as families do, that are friends that become family. And I think the recipe originated sort of from the 1950s tiki bar era, the Polynesian chicken. And it's a really good recipe, but it calls for two ingredients that sometimes take a little bit of searching to find. One is the Contadina brand sweet and sour sauce, and it's in a can. And then it says fruit cocktail, but it's not the normal fruit cocktail you can find in a can. It's a tropical fruit salad cocktail that has papaya and pineapple. And I have to Google which store is carrying it whenever I go to make it because it changes so I'm going to have to probably put that on a flip and I'm not sure how. I'm, I'm not crazy about having the raw meat picture. So I was thinking maybe I could somehow fold this and glue that side down and made, make this a little flip up too course it's very hard card so it doesn't want to fold exactly it's kind of cracking too it's not it's not the newest thing I'm pretty sure these are from my recipe card file from the 1975 collection let's see oh yeah General Mills 1975 all right so maybe I'll have this one go this way and this one go this way. And then I can find something else to put down for journaling. I don't want the flip to go on this piece, so I'm going to tuck it under. So let me just go ahead and do a couple little hinges. I'm just going to use this same paper because then it will sort of be camouflaged. I'm going to fold these in half and hope they're not too brittle. <laughs> I don't remember what book these came out of, but I always save the first page when I'm having to take a book apart because of the fact that it's just usually such nice paper trim them up here even. So did you have a family recipe that was passed down from somebody or that you remember somebody in your family making upon special request for a special occasion? I think if you have watched my videos from my first book, you know that uh, my family was not big on doing kid birthday parties. Like inviting kids over and doing all the food and games and all that. But you could count on having your birthday meal wish being something that was special. It's something I remember very fondly. 
and both of these recipes are delicious. Sorry to my vegan and vegetarian friends out there. <laughs> oh, see, it's clogging up again. I'm not sure what's going on with this tip, but I'll try not to keep complaining about it. Maybe I'm going to take it out and soak it tonight and see if I can get the residue out of there. Because when you don't have that metal tip on, you just tend to use too much. Okay, so now put this down, flip it. Oh, come on, you gotta be even before you dry. And I gotta leave a little bit of a gap so that it, it will fold correctly. Now that I have all the gluing done, I want to add some paper here for my journaling. And I thought I would use this old piece. It has some stains from paper clips that rusted and I kind of like that, but I think I'm gonna save it. And I love things like that, that age the paper, but I think I just want to use the section that says etiquette and then just write around it. So let me trim that real quick. I'll save the little grungy parts. And I like the torn edge too, so I'm gonna leave that since it fits. The etiquette is reminding me that I should do a, a memory on this page about a cooking class that I took one summer when I was probably about nine or 10 years old. And it was cooking and how to serve a dinner party and set a table and so it had some etiquette pieces to it so that would be kind of fun as a facing page i love that this is a precious place that i can store these and enjoy them for years to come and see her handwriting and remember the time and effort that she would put into it because especially the polynesian chicken the way she made it according to the recipe you had to bake the chicken the day before and and then you know refrigerate it and then rebake it and covered and uncovered and there was a lot of that fussing but it was always so special when she would make it and it's a beautiful dish too and i of course it's a little more unique and so i couldn't find a picture of something that looked like it in my recipe card file so I'm going to write some notes here and call this a page. I thought about trying to put some other little picture on here, but there's a lot going on with the background. And so I think I'm just gonna use it for the journaling space. And again, I said that pages were gonna be very simple for a little while, but I'm just happy to be still memory keeping. I hope you'll share if you had something special that you liked for your special occasions, a birthday or a graduation or something that you remember growing up. I love to hear your stories because your stories matter. And I really like it when you share a little bit of that in the comments. So thanks for watching today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.